Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queen she me and today I have another natural hair video for you guys. I have a collection of oils that I have been using ever since I started transitioning back in November of 2014 and I figured I would come on here and share this with you guys. Primarily because we are in now fall and winter months you guys so the weather is definitely changing So you want to make sure that you are staying up on your hair care regimen and a good way to do that is to make sure that you're using your essential oils The first essential oil that I will be sharing with you guys is jojoba oil and you guys I love jojoba oil You can pick up jojoba oil primarily anywhere on um, Walmart vitamin shop um, Probably GNC like any place that pretty much sells vitamins they will probably Probably also carry essential oils and jojoba oil is a very good oil that I like to use I use jojoba oil a lot in a lot of the products that I use actually for my natural hair if you guys have been following me for a while here on YouTube <laughs> you guys already know that I love Eden Body Works jojoba Manoy um, natural hair care line and I use it all the freaking time but Jojoba oil is really, really good to include into your natural hair regimen. Jojoba is extracted from the jojoba plant. It's a pure version. The pure version is bright, golden color. It compares to sebum. It has a high content of minerals and it prevents damage and it is antibacterial. And that's really good for the hair because our hair is pretty much exposed all the time and you just want to make sure that you are actually protecting your hair and making sure that it is also clean as well. And jojoba surprisingly supports both of those so if you want shine and softness you will definitely get that and if you're looking for something that's also going to help with making sure that your hair is clean and doesn't have any kind of bacteria or anything of that sort then definitely try out jojoba oil and it really does smell good and it's in it is a very lightweight oil as well okay so my next favorite essential oil as you guys know is my jamaican black castor oil and i use two castor oils but we're going to start off with the jamaican black castor oil primarily because I use this one a lot more. Um, I use it every week for hot oil treatments. I will moisturize my scalp one to two times a week depending on how my scalp is feeling using the Jamaican black castor oil. And I actually use this in an applicator bottle and I just apply the Jamaican black castor oil with the applicator bottle and then I just massage my scalp and oh my gosh, you guys, it is like a miracle in a freaking bottle. Like if you're trying to get your hair thick or if you're just trying to get your hair to grow or if it's damaged or if it's broken or it really does a lot for your natural hair. So pretty much Jamaican black castor oil is an all soothing oil. It comes from Jamaican castor beans. It deeply conditions. It makes the hair stronger. It seals in moisture. It's good for hot oil treatments as well and it is, it is an all natural oil so you definitely cannot go wrong with Jamaican black castor oil. This is what it looks like in the applicator bottle so it really is a dark form of Jamaican black castor oil but um, when I'm going in the, with the lock method I like to go in with a lighter version of a castor oil because it's not so thick on the hair and it doesn't create a lot of product buildup as well. So yeah I alternate between the two but I primarily use the Jamaican black castor oil this one you can pick up at Sally's Walmart Target online Amazon everywhere and then with this castor oil you can get it from vitamin shop I'm pretty sure Walmart as well probably online from Amazon too and probably any other whole food place that pretty much sells vitamins or any other natural oils as well but Jamaican black castor oil is really like one of my holy grail oils i really do love it i really do use it every single week like i make sure that every single product that i use it has some form of castor oil if you're trying to get your hair to grow and you're trying to find something that's not expensive jamaican black castor oil our next oil. essential oil is coconut oil and if you're natural just like me then you pretty much will know about pre-pooing and pre-pooing is another big step in my natural hair regimen and i use coconut oil so that way i can pre-poo it is so good it's lightweight it adds softness shine and bounce back into my hair it may perform different on other people's hair but primarily it does add softness and shine back into your hair um i typically just scoop out however much of the coconut oil i feel like i will need out of the jar and then i'll just warm it up in the microwave or i might sit it in a bowl of warm water and then i'll let it melt 
and then I'll put it in an applicator bottle <laughs> then I will let it melt and I'll put it in my applicator bottle as well so I have one for Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil these applicator bottles are probably like a dollar dollar fifty at the most and you can get them at your own local beauty supply store but the coconut oil when I warm it up and then I apply it onto my hair before I even wash it co-wash it shampoo it deep condition anything even before I do a hot oil treatment I always go in with coconut oil for my pre poo and it really is a really nice essential oil it is very versatile you can use it for pre pooing you can even use it as a part of your shampoo regimen you can incorporate it if you feel like the shampoo may be a little bit too stripping of the hair and then you can also too use it as a deep conditioner or you can also use it in your lock method for your natural hair so Coconut oil is one of those essential oils where you can use it for pretty much anything. You can even use it to take makeup off. That's what I do. <laughs> so yeah, coconut oil is a very versatile oil and I would highly recommend getting you some. Um, you can pick it up at Walmart, probably again at Vitamin Shop. I get mine personally from Burlington because they sell it there for about $6. And this is the Tahiti Sunset Organic Version Coconut Oil. Some people, they suggest that you get the unrefined version, but that is a little bit <laughs> above my price range. I'm not even gonna lie. So I prefer to just get this one. I've been using this for like almost two years now and it has not affected my hair in a negative way. It has always been in a positive form, so. So with using the coconut oil, it is very versatile. You can use it for a pre-poo or you can use it as a sealant. Again, using it as a sealant in the lock method or the LCO method. Um, it's good for people who have dry scalp as well. So you can actually take some and just massage it right onto your scalp. It's the same thing as castor oil as well. You can use it as a shine enhancer. You can also use it as a deep conditioner as well. You can purchase this either unrefined or organic. So again, mine is the organic version coconut oil and then the unrefined is a little bit more pricier. But again, they still do the exact same thing. So coconut oil is very versatile. So if you're curious, definitely pick you up a jar of it. The next oil that I'm fixing to share with you guys, I discovered probably about, I would say, uh, about four to six months ago. So I'm still experimenting with it, honestly. The other previous oils that I've shared with you guys, I've been using them for, again, almost two years. So I'm comfortable with what I'm sharing with you guys. But with the almond oil, I'm still learning how to actually use it on my hair. Um, for Alexa's hair, we'll use it in the lock method. And her hair is really shiny it'll be really bouncy and it'll also add definition I feel with her hair but with my hair I feel like I'm not sure I'm still kind of playing with it so um again I'm just gonna give you what I feel works for my hair okay so almond oil um you can pick this up at your local beauty supply store or again in any vitamin shop that will probably carry any other kind of essential oils as well so sweet almond oil, it is good for a sealant. I have used this as the lock method and it has worked that way. Um, it's just probably, I just may prefer castor oil or probably my jojoba oil. It helps to lock in moisture. It smooths down the hair cuticle as well. So again, my hair was shiny. My hair did look really smooth, but it just, it just I don't know, it, I can feel the difference with using the almond oil. Um, it controls shedding and I did notice that with Alexa's hair now when we started using the sweet almond oil or just regular almond oil um, her hair really did decrease with shedding because her hair tends to shed a little bit more than mine and I think it's because she wears hats on the weekends I don't wear hats so my hair is either pretty much twisted down or it's pretty much twisted out so um yeah so when we started using the almond oil on her hair it actually decreased how much shedding she had because again i retwist her hair for her which is you know i enjoy doing it it's fun i like doing the natural hair and yeah so when we started using the almond oil on her hair her, her hair actually started to shed less and even on her wash days as well so yeah it all depends on your hair everyone's hair is different even though we're all natural everyone's hair reacts differently to different oils and chemicals and products the next oil that i'm sharing with you guys is one that i grew up with in my home um because my mom she used it on my scalp because as a kid i would have 
um dry scalp at times and it will be itchy and she would like go in with like um blue magic or whatever kind of hair grease we used to use back in the day and so um i remember um I'd be like, Mom, what is it you're using on my hair? And, she, and I said, it smells like mints. And she was like, oh, you know, peppermint tea tree oil. She was like, that's what you use on your scalp when it's, irrit you know, when it's irritated or when it's dry. Lately, Lexa got a piercing, so she's been using the tea tree oil. But we've already been using the tea tree oil because we have some of the Eden Body Work products that are from the peppermint tea tree line. But tea tree oil is a really 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 nice oil um some people may not like the scent of it because again it is a strong scent it is tea tree oil and this is in the natural state um we purchased this from vitamin shop you can probably again pick this up at walmart or any other local vitamin store that you may have that carries essential oils but it is a natural antifungal bacterial antiviral and anti-infection oil yeah i had to just read it that was a lot it has a lot of properties which pretty much means it helps with any kind of bacteria again that may actually try to appear on your scalp or even on your hair so jojoba oil and tea tree oil they pretty much are both antibacterial um oils which pretty much helps to prevent your hair from any kind of um bacteria or any kind of damage or any kind of residue that should not be on your hair so that's pretty good to actually have essential oils you guys because even though some of these can be kind of pricey and this one i think we pay almost ten dollars for as well i'm not sure but a little goes a long way so if you like have like an irritable spot on your scalp i would just take a q-tip and then just simply place it and just rub it on there i wouldn't necessarily put it all over your scalp if you do not necessarily need it but using an essential oil you guys i'm telling you it really does help with even your own natural sebum in your scalp to actually produce and sebum is actually natural oils in your scalp that actually help to moisturize your hair <laughs> so a lot of people don't realize that when you use essential oils and you actually take time out to massage your scalp that will actually help to, prom to promote natural hair growth so that's why i'm always sharing with you guys like the different kind of oils that i'm using because even though i'm using these products um a lot of those products may not contain those natural oils that you may really need to actually benefit you on your natural hair journey okay so we're just going to do another quick rundown of all the essential oils that i shared here with you guys today so the first one was jojoba oil and again this one is an antibacterial oil it's good for softening the hair adding adding shine back into the hair and it actually does help with making the hair strong again and it also helps with dry scalp as well castor oil castor oil is good for adding strength back into the hair shine is good for hot oil treatment so that way you can treat itchy and dry scalps it helps to strengthen the hair and it also helps with thickening the hair as well and so if you're having any kind of thinning of the edges or just any other places on your scalp you can simply apply this on there massage it every night and then you guys it will definitely help to promote natural hair growth if you're using the regular castor oil you can use this for the lock method or the lco method as well and in this oil is lightweight so you can use this daily versus using the jamaican black castor oil only once a week coconut oil now you guys know this is my favorite oil coconut oil and jojoba oil but coconut oil is good for pre pulling it's good for detangling it adds shyness back into your it adds shine back into your hair bounce softness as well and manageability too so primarily coconut oil if you're struggling with again detangling your hair or your curly strands are just matted and you don't know what to use simply heat up some coconut oil put it on your hair finger detangle if you can if not use a wide tooth comb but coconut oil is definitely a number one number one number one essential oil that everyone should have in their natural hair regimen sweet almond oil is good to use as a sealant in the lock method it helps to lock in moisture and it also smooths the hair cuticles as well which will also help with the, giving you the hair definition that you like as well so if you like almond oil definitely incorporate it into your lock method for when you're setting and styling your natural hair tea tree oil 
Tea tree oil is an all natural essential oil. It's antifungal, antibacterial. <laughs> it is just anti everything. And if you're a person who is, has itchy or dry scalp, and sometimes you're just really just trying to just do a spot treatment, definitely pick you up some tea tree oil. Use it with a Q-tip and just simply apply it to wherever you're itching, massage it in. And you can also incorporate this too into your deep conditioner treatments as well if you really are needing to give your full scalp an actual treatment. All right, my king and queen. So this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy my essential oils video that I brought here to you guys today. Because again, I use these oils every single day, almost every single week. Like literally, if it's not on my hair, then it's on Alexa's hair. But we are always using some form of an oil here in this household. <laughs> so I hope this was beneficial for you guys. If you have questions, please leave them down below and I will respond back to you guys in a timely manner. Um, you guys have been really responding. I've been enjoying that. Thank you so much for those who have been sticking around and supporting you guys. I'm still punching out new content for you guys here on my channel. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching my King and Queens. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not joined the family. Please do because I upload weekly. Thank you so much for watching my King and Queens and I will see you guys in the next upload. Be blessed.